Okay, what we're looking at here is the underside of a typical uh, china wash basin. And the part you can see there is the end of the tap that's protruding through underneath, that's the tap tail. What I'm going to show you now is the, um, the correct tool to use for either fitting the tap or removing the tap with this tool in my hand here which is called the, uh, the basin wrench. Now if you can see up there the end of the tool is specially designed to go on the, uh, over the nut, the back nut on the tap and turn it in that um, small recess because you couldn't use a, any kind of traditional spanner or, um, or, or grips or anything like that because there's, there's no space up there so you can see this tool here now is actually over the nut it's just, it's just a little bit loose and just needs tightening up so the first thing to do above the sink is to hold the tap in the right position with one hand and make sure that's pointing in the right direction now what you do is you turn this spanner now in a clockwise direction like that. You can only get small turns but you don't worry. You'll get there in the end. Place it on the nut again. Give it another turn. Get it tight now. It's nice and tight. And again. Now that is fully tight now so the tap, the tap is actually fixed in the right position. So basically this is the tool, it's called the basin wrench. There's two ends. That one end there is the, um, the half inch end for wash basins such as this or kitchen sinks. And then you've got the other end, which is a bigger end, this is the three quarter end for specifically for bath taps. It's very rigid, it's very heavy duty. Um, this is the tool you'll need for tightening up your taps on your basin, like I said your basin, your kitchen sink or your bath. This makes the job a lot easier. That's the tool, the basin wrench for tightening up your taps on your sink, basin or kitchen sink. Okay, thanks for watching.